Is there legitimately a lot of beautiful single ladies in the Ukraine looking for a man, a good man to marry, whether he be Ukraine or from the Western world? Is there a big need for that? Is there a lot of lonely, single, beautiful women in Ukraine? More than you can possibly imagine. It is, uh, it is uh, a country filled with uh, wonderful women, beautiful women, mm -hmm. uh, women who uh, have been disappointed with the men in their own country, either bad marriages, uh, abusive situations, you know, there's just a, a wide variety. Mm -hmm. But uh, single women here that desperately want a beautiful family, mm -hmm. they're not desperately wanting sex or desperately wanting a green card in another country, they, they want a real family. They're looking for a real man real family. Mm -hmm. uh, to try to find those women on your own is one of them very difficult. Uh, if you speak Russian very well, then you may be able to succeed on your own. Because most of them don't speak English very well. Most of them don't well. speak English. Mm -hmm. So there's a big need and demand. Yes. These ladies are looking to find a good husband, legitimately can't find a man in the Ukraine for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. uh, so. My, my huge question is, why is this ugly industry taking advantage of the woman and the man? Both are victims. Both want something the other has. Why is there legitimate, honest agencies looking to match people for love and marriage? Uh, there's, uh, it's money. It's a money-driven uh, industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, we play into that as foreign men. Uh, we're not happy with what we have available to us in the country we live in. Mm -hmm. We see these uh, magnificently beautiful women, the uh, supermodel type, or, or even some that are not supermodel type, but still are amazing women, uh, looking for men. And we go, wow, why can't that be me? Yeah. Well, it's a... It's a and it's, a, it, it's, it's interesting because it can be you is the reality. Yes, it can be. Uh, but... We're jaded from all these cons and scams that we see the YouTube videos and hear the horror stories and we think the whole industry, well, we think the ladies are bad. Oh, no, no. But no. indeed, it's the industry that's bad. It's right. the agencies, right? The ladies, there's a lot of good ones. Yes, there's, there's some scammers out yeah, there. there and, is. and there's some gold diggers. Mm -hmm. um, there's ones with you know, poor and bad intentions. But there are a lot of good ladies incredible number of them. Okay. I don't even know what the statistics are, but I I'll, I'll bet there's uh, two women, two eligible marriage-seeking women for every man in Ukraine, a Ukrainian man. I don't know, but it's an uh, enormous amount of them. Well, I know there's a, there's a shortage of men by a, by a million in Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. One million less men than women in Ukraine and Russia. And really? plus with the war, uh, yeah. and plus let me ask you, what does a Ukrainian lady tell you when you ask her, why are you single? You know, you're 32 mm -hmm. and you've been single. Why are you single? Why you can't find a good Ukrainian man? Why did you come to an agency? What do they tell uh, you? Most of them, at uh, times I get an answer, a straight answer. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be, I've been disappointed with the men in my own country. And I'll, I'll maybe say, why? Tell, explain to me why. Well, uh, they drink too much. They're lazy. They're not serious. They just want to play. Sleep around. Sleep around, can't exactly. Trust them. Can't trust them. Infidelity's big. Yeah, and uh, they're not reliable. They're not good providers. Um, the, these ladies can be really uh, practical about some things. Uh, they want their heart touched, but they're also pretty practical. They are pragmatic. And so they yeah. have uh, had really bad experience. They don't see any uh, possibility to find a good husband in, in Ukraine. Their idea is they're already taken. So they expand their search out. Maybe they know somebody who was successful. Uh, and so it's, well, we're going to try foreign men. Mm -hmm. They have uh, uh, an idea that foreign men are better than their men. Mm -hmm. They're uh, either more gentlemanly-like, they're more serious, they're more reliable, they're better providers, they're more romantic, mm -hmm. uh, and so well. on. Yeah, and, it, and it's true. The men who come here generally are much better. And, and uh, so they are looking elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, don't think for a minute uh, that uh, these women are just looking for a free ticket to America or Which Germany is our biggest fear, isn't it? It is not that way. I've, I, I've asked so many of them. 
-hmm. And the vast majority would be just as happy if you moved here and lived with them here. I mean, that's a litmus test, isn't it? For yeah, the good it ones. It is for me. Because Yeah, it is for me too. If they want to stay in the Ukraine, because it's a huge deal for them to pick up. Huge. Unplug their whole life, yeah. their family, their, their language, their culture. Uh, and they have a really rich culture. More richer, richer than ours. Yeah, it's amazing. Family's really tight. Mm -hmm. Tighter than our family networks back mm -hmm. home. Unfortunately. So, unfortunately. So to leave all that and go to America or to go to another country is a huge deal for them. So when you find a really good one, uh, often she doesn't want to leave the Ukraine. No, not until she, uh, she'll she say that mm -hmm. I've got to learn to trust you first. Bingo. Bingo. Uh, you've got to prove to me you're reliable. Mm -hmm. What is my life going to be like if I do marry you and go to a different country? What's mm -hmm. going to happen? Where are we going to live? Mm -hmm. uh, how are we going to live? How am I going to overcome all of these obstacles? Absolutely. Are you going to be supportive? And so... I've experienced the same thing. Once really? they trust you, which might take a few trips to be realistic, right? Talking to Absolutely. the Western it might take a few trips. It's going to take some time. Mm -hmm. To think you're going to come to Ukraine and propose marriage in a week? Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to accept if and they, you're going to live happily ever after? If they say yes, generally the next thing, well, will you support me now that I've said yes? <laughs> no, I, I don't. That's kind of... I shouldn't have said that, I guess, but, <laughs> well, but it's true to some extent. That, you know, we're talking again about how, how do you know yeah. if it's a genuine girl yeah. versus uh, a girl that has a um, hidden agenda. Hidden they they want to build a relationship. Mm -hmm. They're not going to generally... These are real women with real feelings, real emotions, real desires, real wants. These are not you know, Barbie dolls, and they're not little toys. Oh, these, women do, women. these women will... will if you try to treat them like some little toy and play with them around, boy, they'll pick that up in a heartbeat and you'll be walking. These are real women. Yeah. They are worth the effort. Awesome women. They are. They're uh, beautiful. Oh, They're gosh. smart, intelligent, yeah. uh, very um, catering to the man. They yes. want their man to be happy. They'll do anything for him. Is that your experience? Yes. Once that connection's made, yeah, once, once that commitment's made, yeah, once the relationship is built, may take you a little time, mm -hmm. but once the commitment is there, they're yours. Once they call you my man? No, yeah, that's it. <laughs> they'll do anything Almost. for you. Almost. They're just amazing women. Contrast, to the, contrast that to the Western girl. And, and I can tell you yeah. that 99% of these women are excellent cooks. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> They love to cook. And <laughs> they, they love you to love the food. Yes, they do. They'll put weight on you in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be careful of that. Yeah. As you say, physical features fall way down the list. Number one, almost invariably, is I've got to have trust. Mm -hmm. I want a reliable man. Mm -hmm. I want a man who is, uh, loves me and cares for me and protects me and you know, wants a, a family. Mm -hmm. uh, those are mm -hmm. the issues that they really talk about a lot. Hey, it's Joe here. How are you doing? Listen, I wanted to talk to you openly and personally for a moment here. Maybe you're like I was, divorced two times and just really um, distraught and given up on ever finding your other half, a soulmate, your best friend, somebody that's amazing, smart, sexy, talented, educated woman that will rock your world in more ways than you can imagine. I've found that and I wish you to find that. I fervently believe the best women, the best wives are in the Ukraine here. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.